Now we will draw different polygons. Okay, first, we'll start with the uh, pentagon. First, we'll take any side. Let's say four centimeter. Then we'll mark midpoint. We'll draw a circle from the center. We'll draw a vertical line. Then, we'll, then we will take this radius. Cut on this side. This is A, B. This we can write as four. And wherever it will cut with the vertical line, that is six. Now we can bisect 4 and 6. Now we are using the same funda. How to divide a line into two parts? From 4 we are cut, cutting any arc. Maintaining the same arc. From 6 again you cut. Draw horizontal line. Wherever it will cut. That is 0.5. Now you take phi to A in your compass and draw a light circle. After this you take A to B in your compass, cut on left side as well as right side and then Now let's say if I want to draw a hexagon with the same method. This is called a general method. Like now in this sum, like how I've marked 4, this is 5, this is 6. Right? I can construct hexagon using the same method. What I have to do? I have to take 6 to A and draw a circle. Then you take A to B, cut on right hand side as well as left hand side. Now see why we are doing it on live, uh, left and right both to minimize the error. Never go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Never go that way. Now you join on these points so we got hexagon now if I want to draw septagon or octagon I can do I can use the same method now in this case what we have to do you take 4 to 6 and from 6 you cut upper side so you'll get point 8 now again you bisect 6 and 8 now generally what we do we always take a approximately midpoint and then we bisect 6 and 8 Point 0.7 this is point 0.8 we can follow the same method we take 7 to A as a radius draw a circle take side AB cut on both the sides and keep on cutting it we will get a septagon same way you take A to A and draw a circle 
and again you take side AB and cut on both the sides so you'll get octagon we can draw uh, any polygon with this method and this method is called a general method